So this lesson we're going to have a look at how we find the median for small data sets. Well first of all we need to know what the median is and the median is the middle score in the data set. Now it may not necessarily actually be one of the scores and we'll have a look at why shortly. But first of all we must place the scores in ascending order. Ascending meaning smallest to largest and that makes it easier to find the middle score. Now there's two situations that we need to consider. If there's an odd number of scores in the data set, then there will only be one middle score and that will be one of the scores in the data set. So let's have a look at how we do that. So let's take a very small data set, the numbers 2, 3, 6, 8 and 12. And from those, you can see that they're already placed in ascending order. So, we have a look at the two, the smallest and the largest, because they're placed in ascending order. The smallest and largest are the two end ones, and we're going to cross them out. We haven't got a middle score yet, so we're going to repeat that process, find the next smallest and the next largest, and cross them out, until eventually we have our middle score. That's six, and therefore our median is six. So when there's an odd number of scores, there's one, two, three, four, five, that's what we mean by an odd number of scores, there will always be one middle score, which is one of the scores in your data set. So what happens if it's not an odd number of scores? Well, if there's an even number of scores, then we'll find that there will be two scores left in the middle. In that situation, we find the middle of these two scores. To do that, we add them together, find the total, then divide by 2. So let's have a look at an example of one of those. So, we have 2, 4, 6 numbers here, so we've got an even number in our data set. And you'll notice that they've already placed an ascending order for us to make it easier. If they're not placed in ascending order, then we have to do that first, smallest through to largest. So, it makes it easier, there's our smallest, there's our largest, and we're going to cross them out. And we're going to repeat that, because we still haven't found our median, there's our next smallest and our next largest, cross them out, until we find we've got two middle scores there left. So, in that situation, we have to add them together, and divide by 2. So, 8 and 10, 18, divide by 2 and we get our median is 9. So you can do that on your calculator using the fraction template and it will give us our median in that situation. So what we'll do now is relate this finding the median or the middle score back to our example with Rachel. So these are her 12 spelling test results out of 20. As you can see, they're not placed in ascending order for us. So we need to do that first. So when we do so, we have our smallest score of 10 and our highest score of 20. So we now have these placed in ascending order. So we're going to cross off our smallest and largest from each end until we find a middle score. Just remember though, because there are 12 spelling tests, there are 12 results here, so we shouldn't end up with two middle scores. So let's do this. There's an even number of scores, as we said. So two middle scores. So what we now need to do to make it easier, place them in ascending order, cross the smallest and largest off. Still haven't found a middle score, so we repeat the process, smallest and largest, cross them off. Then our next smallest and largest, keep continuing, next smallest and largest, we still haven't got a middle score yet, so our next smallest and largest, and you'll see, as we expected, there should be two middle scores. So. We're going to add them together and then divide by 2, use our fraction template on our calculator and we'll find that our median is 16.5. So that's how we find the median for small data sets.